Oh, you already did. Okay. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Beauty Within. And this is the video that I think a lot of you wait for, even if you don't watch every single one of our videos. I think yes. a lot of you are interested in our yearly roundup. So this is Ro and I's favorite products of 2022 and we tried to limit it so that it would be 10 products each but honestly i feel like for this year it was easy to keep it at a minimum it was actually pretty easy so how we went about selecting these they're really just products that we either miss when we don't have it or they revolutionized our oh, oh. Uh -oh. getting, getting emotional, emotional. <laughs> or they revolutionized our skin or our hair or they just sparked joy. If there are any dupes or like similar products or even worthy mentions as we go about our products, we will make sure to tell you guys so that you have just something else to like look forward to if this yeah. doesn't speak to you. Before we get into it, just want to remind you guys to sign up to our newsletter, subscribe to the Beauty Within channel and of course our IG. We have fun extra content over there. So Ro, take it away with whatever speaks to your heart the most. Okay guys, most of you know the contenders for the best moisturizer of 2022 was in between Peach and Lily's Pro Peptide Moisturizer and Ule Henriksen's Strength Trainer Peptide Boost Moisturizer. Mm. And as you guys can see, this one wow. is at the current table. I already emptied one. My mom also emptied one, and this wow. is my second one that I bought from the Sephora sale. Oh, true, because in the last video that you talked about, it was empty. It was gone. Yeah. Yeah, and like the reason why this moisturizer is so amazing is because it has this, like I really do think it has more of like a balmy, waxy texture, mm -hmm. but it melts into this like very beautiful, lightweight, moisturizer that's like not even there. Yeah. Sometimes the denser whipped ones are just like so overbearing and like not breathable. Yeah. So this is just wonderful. There's of course peptides in there, there's ceramides, there's hyaluronic acid. So it's very moisturizing. It's great for fine lines and wrinkles and I just think it's absolutely divine. And it has a very, very beautiful, subtly sweet scent mm -hmm. that's naturally derived from yuzu. Mm. So good. Yeah. Oh, another thing with this cream too is you don't wake up feeling like there's like a thick layer of product on your skin. Mm. I'm just wake up and I'm like, great. And yeah. it works in humid weather too. Dry skin gals, even I think oily skin, just anyone with dehydrated skin, this will help boost hydration mm -hmm. and like keep that moisture like really locked into your skin. Yeah, you can also think of your moisturizer as like zones. So if you yeah. have particularly dry areas, you can just like concentrate on those really flaky areas too. So kind of like spot moisturize. Holy grail for the year. <laughs> yes. Just like a quick TLDR, I think this year my skin has been experiencing ups and downs of kind of irritation and dryness because little fact, as we age, we lose our estrogen and estrogen has everything to do with our skin feeling a little bit more dry as we age. So this is Tower 28's SOS Daily Rescue Spray. And let me tell you, that is exactly what it does and who it's for. First of all, the spray is like intense. And then <laughs> after that, it's like, oh, this smells like a swimming pool. And then it got into my mouth and it's like, oh, this is salty. So it was like all kinds of like shock factors. Like, oh, the emotions. <laughs> yeah, like, where am I? Who am I? What is this? And then I was using it within the week that my skin was like itchy. It was rough. It was like just inflamed and the skin barrier was like topsy-turvy. Within a couple of days, along with some other products, this really helped like soothe it. You know, like oat really helps mm -hmm. with soothing. This I feel like did it in a really effective way. Mm -hmm. So then I looked into it and what makes this different to any other toner that I've ever tried is the hypochlorous Bleach. acid. Just kidding. Yeah, the hypochlorous acid. We made an Instagram about this because in bleach, I'm not gonna go into it, there is this disinfecting kind of ingredient called hypochlorous acid, but when it's formulated in a skincare product, it's diluted like 100 parts per million. And what that means is that it's safe for even the most sensitive of skin types. So this is for people with like eczema, rosacea, itchiness, super sensitive skin. And the interesting thing even more about hypochlorous acid is our bodies naturally make it normally, like in our immune system. And how it works is like when we get a wound or a scrape, our white blood cells will come to repair that area. 
which is part of what this is. Wow. So yeah, it's like working with the body's natural immune system. And you guys actually told me there is a dupe on Amazon. This is from Element. It's called the Face and Skin Spray, and it's essentially Ooh. the same thing. Yeah, so I recommended this to Deb, who's on our team, has very similar skin type to me. And I was like, maybe you can try this to start off because it's more affordable. It comes in two sizes. She got the little one. She's like, oh my God, Flea, this like changed my life. She had like redness from acne, redness from irritation, inflammation. You can spray it wherever you have irritation. Wow. Matchy, matchy. Aww. <laughs> and Hailey Bieber keeps posting about this. Really? And the whole Tower 28 team's like, ah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Amy, you're amazing. We love you. All right. Next one should also come as absolutely no surprise. It is Cray Beauty's Makeup Rewind. Mm. If you guys have been an OG fan of Beauty Within, you know I started off on this channel almost five years ago mm -hmm. not being a believer of oil cleansers. Mm. Not that I didn't believe it, I just didn't know how to use it. And then of all the oils I've tried, this is hands down the best oil cleanser I've ever used. So the inception behind this is that Sometimes oil cleansers are a little too messy in that like mm. when you just, it just like, like, like the Biosance, I love the Biosance oil, but then it just like literally drips through your fingers. Mm. Bombs on the other hand, they're a little too like, like too much work needs to be done to like really get it out and like, you know, melt it in your skin. So like, okay, how can we create something that is the best of both worlds mm. without being too liquidy, without being too solid, and this was born. They use upcycled grapeseed oil, so like byproducts in the wine industry, they're like, okay, there's all these waste, what can we do with it? Let's make a cleanser out of it. And so there's that like very subtle sweet scent of the grape and then the texture is just beautiful and then it even takes off the most stubborn makeup. Also, it does not sting your eye. So step one of a double cleanse, obviously you can pair it with Crave Beauty's Matcha Hemp Cleanser or just like any other water base, or you don't even have to. Like if you haven't put any sunscreen on throughout the day, you've just been chilling at home, this yeah. can just be your one step. Okay, next for me, this baby. I discovered in the Ulta haul I did a few months ago. This is the Peach Slices Redness Relief Azelaic Acid Serum. So you guys know that I love the Paula's Choice Azelaic Acid Serum. And what Azelaic, similar to what the Tower 28 does, is it really helps with inflammation, redness, and any sort of like skin barrier, like compromisation. <laughs> is that a word? Compromisation, that's <laughs> legit. And it works together with panthenol and also green algae to really help relieve, but also hydrate. So anytime anyone has rosacea or any kind of like psoriasis or anything like that, that's red on the surface of the skin and they have sensitive skin, I'm just like, you have to get it because it will like completely turn your life around. And it's also great for like post acne hyperpigmentation. Do you know all the like stubborn dark marks that come after like popping a pimple? I have a huge one here. I don't know if you can see it, but I will definitely be using this. And also it helps to gently exfoliate the skin so that it's not like rough and bumpy as well. If you're a person who really likes your chemical exfoliants, but you want to find something that's a little bit more gentle, I would highly recommend trying Azelaic. It's just like so good for calming, soothing so that you feel more at peace on the outside and the inside. Love it. Sold <laughs> to the highest bidder. Okay. Okay. With age comes this thing with your skin where it's not as resilient as it used to be. And as you guys know, for my drier, fair skin, the thing that I've been working on most is just freckling and dark spots like hyperpigmentation from the sun. Yeah. And it just takes significantly longer to fade anything. It does. So of all the vitamin C products I've tried to help with my hyperpigmentation. Which is a lot. I've tried a lot. The thing that I found worked the most is this vitamin C <laughs> from Medicube. It's the 13.5% deep vita C ampoule. If I remember correctly, this is pure ascorbic acid and it comes in three little um, ample like tincture bottles. Yes, in and one then, set. I just think different ingredients work differently on different people's skin. Yeah. And I just found that for me, pure ascorbic acid in this particular product just 
has been working the best. Hmm. And the most interesting thing about this little baby is that it helps with melanin production in three stages. If you already have excess melanin on your skin in the form of dark spots, sunspots, you know, freckles, anything, it can help it slowly fade over time. So that's the first one. The second one is prevention, to prevent future ones from happening as quickly as they may have. Mm -hmm. And the third stage is that it helps strengthen melanin resistance, which basically, basically means. <laughs> And the third stage is that it helps strengthen melanin resistance. So it's basically... <laughs> <laughs> we can just roll with this. It killed it. It just basically <laughs> means... The third stage, it just nips it at the butt before it even is allowed to flourish by strengthening melanin resistance in your skin. A set of three is $53 normally, but they're currently on sale for 45. Yeah. And they also have another sale where the more you buy, the more you save and just Medicube in general, guys. Yeah, they're all about value sets. Yes. Love Medicube. Ding. Since you talked about ampules, I'll talk about a serum. This one I used earlier on in the year and I'm almost done with it. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Breakout Salicylic Acid Serum. So it contains 2% salicylic acid, which is your benchmark salicylic. And then it also contains 3% lactic acid as well as postbiotic ferment. Kind of like what you were saying about the vitamin C it targets yeah. current breakouts, future breakouts, as well as the effects of a breakout, which is mm. hyperpigmentation. It's like this watery texture. It's so hydrating. That's why it's like interesting mm. to me. I use this as soon as I feel like I have any roughness, as I feel like I'm starting to break out. Maybe it's the week before my period and aftercare. I honestly paired this for about two weeks and it was great. Not that you can't, but I just would keep them separate because with it's like- With acid? Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you're dealing with breakouts, just concentrate on breakout and something soothing calming. And I saw the effects even after like a couple of days. It helped with redness. It helps with like just Deflaming. <laughs> What's the opposite of inflame? Deflame. Yeah. How does this compare to the polish choice? Like, when would you reach for the polish choice and when would you reach for this? Because the polish choice is like 40 something for the toner. Yeah. And this is like a $29 serum. Yeah, this is $29. I would say you just need to pick one. It's just one because, or the I, other. yeah, I have mm. both. In the winter, especially now, I felt like I reached for this a little bit more because it's like hydrating. Mm -hmm. But then let's say you really want to use a serum that you just got and you want something lightweight. So then you can use the Paula's Choice. Mm -hmm. You know, it kind of like depends on what you're currently using and what you feel like. Make it go viral, fell. Speaking of hydration and soothing, I will move on to the Caudalie Grape Water Spray. Yes. I honestly feel if we never went to the Caudalie Spa, I would not have known about its existence. And James is also, because mm. one night he came in, I was like spraying my face. He's like, oh, what are you what doing? Is that? is that hairspray? I'm like, no, it's grape oh water. Now that you say it, it does look good. Yeah, because it's just like, you're like, yeah. you know? It's 100% grape water. Yeah. It's a very hydrating, nourishing, anti-inflammatory, that's the word. Anti-inflammatory. Anti <laughs> oh my God. Whoa. So I think, uh, yeah, like the foundation of a toner is really just to wet your skin so that the other products that you put on after can absorb better. Yeah. You can use it as like a little touch up. But yeah, I think this is like such a underrated product mm. that to me sits in the same realm as like the Aven thermal spring water oh, yeah. or like the La Roche Posay, La Roche. but it's just grape seed water, so it's like a bit more elevated, even though it's like more or less the same. Yeah. $20 for this so huge good. baby. I was taken away back to the mems of going to that meatpacking quarterly <laughs> spa. Yeah. If you're ever in New York, definitely like as a treat for yourself or anyone, it's like beautiful. Yes. So I recently did a video on how to mix and match your routine depending on how you wake up and feel. These are the two moisturizers that I think the only two that I've been using all year, really, like religiously. Shocker! Then, yeah. <laughs> this one, I think like you've talked about for a long time and like it's only now going back to the fact that I'm more combination now mm -hmm. that I can truly appreciate like what it is about it because it's just like so smooth, it's so silky. It is a authentic barrier cream bar from Pure Am, and although it says balm, it's not even like balm no. like this. It's like just a moisturizer. This is more whipped. 
than this, I would say. The basis of this uses yuzu water, it's got ceramides, it's got squalane, so everything that's like skin barrier friendly healing, I would use this in conjunction with any of these. If I had breakouts, I would pair it with this. If I was red and irritated, I'd pair it with this or this. So it was great. The best basic cream. Yeah. But at the same time, I'm still shooketh. Why? It's like the moment I started using the Paula's 2% BHA. Everyone's like, <gasps> and yeah. now it's like Fowl loves yeah. the Pure Berry Bomb. <gasps> so this is $37. The other one, we talked about this first, like earlier on in the year. And I just truly was not expecting to enjoy this for my oily skin as much as I did. And I just kept going back because this texture was like nothing that I've ever even experienced. It's so silky, it's quite thick, but it wasn't suffocating. Um, it has a strong scent of ginseng because it is a ginseng cream. I didn't even introduce it yet. So this is the Samoa Su <laughs> Concentrated Renewing Cream Classic. This is the richer one. They have a more gel consistency. Same ingredients and everything, just different texture. Fel likes this one more. Yeah, I actually yeah. like the thicker one more and I use it at night. You know when you're saying you wake up and you're like actually ravishing? <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, but it's supple, it's moisturized, it's hydrated all in one and you can keep everything else just like at a minimum and they have a special ginsenomics, which is all about the active ingredient found in the best types of red ginseng they've extracted to put in here. So what this symbolizes in my head is like going slow. It's like slow glow, but also investing in your skin, investing in yourself. Traditional, love everything traditional, guys. <laughs> if you yes. have dry skin, these will be your <clears throat> BFFs too. You're just the part. Oh yeah! <laughs> next, 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 I would love to talk about this device from Medicube that has seriously been a standout. This is Medicube's Ucera Deep Shot. And what it basically does is that it's shooting ultrasonic waves into the depths of your skin layers. If you can imagine the collagen in your skin, like when it deflates, your skin just like kind of looks Sinks. gray and sad. And what it does, it, it like beams in goodness to like kind of regenerate and rebuild from the inside out. You turn on the device, the middle button, it's like how intense you want it to be. I start at one because I yes. think my skin is still pretty fresh and the baby, but like a friend, she started at five. I started at one, she's like, I don't feel a thing. We did two, she's that like, I don't know what you're scary. doing. And then by five, she's like, ooh, it like kind of heats up a little. Mm -hmm. So start with one and then what you do is like, it starts off blue, but then when you click this button, that is the shot. Mm -hmm. And that is when it's like pulsing thingy into your skin. So there's like different techniques and you can check out on their website, yeah. um, hold it in place, push it in certain areas. Yes, because you need to use this. It's kind of like <laughs> when you're looking for the baby for the Ultrasound. first time. Yeah. So you do need their age Our booster gel with a lot of like anti-aging, anti-wrinkling ingredients and put it on here and then you just start moving it across your face. As soon as it's done, you already feel plumper. Mm. And I think now, that, you know, we are getting on in the years, not too much so, but a little bit more so than when we're in our early 20s. Things like my smile lines, because yeah. it's just a little bit more there. And what I would do, it's like, I'll just like hold it up to really like push beep, beep, up. Beep, 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 beep. Yeah. Medicube honestly has like the best tools. I know they are pricey, but once again, it's kind of like the moisturizer. If you're gonna like invest in your skin, then like that is probably what you might wanna check out. If you have like pores and acne and you wanna deal with that, there's another device. We've done a whole video on it, so we'll link it below where we go through the three main devices. Okay, so now that we're on the tools, the reason why I didn't like go for that the pores and acne one is because I just find I use this every day and something that I use every day, I was like, I can't not talk about it. This is the Foreo Mini and it's a face brush, face brush, face brush. And it's a face brush that we've used for so many years now. The first time we were just like shooketh at how it leaves your skin feeling like the dolphin. It's like meow, so hydrated and You're smooth. You're just like whoosh, yeah. whoosh, whoosh. I mean, still to this day, I don't know why it is able Thomas to uses do that. Thomas uses this too. Yeah, so good. And he said the same words as you did. Yeah. As he, we did. He was like, yeah, I watched that video and I took it from you. And I was like, yes, but you're right. Keep saying it's like a dolphin. <laughs> you can use it day and night. And I just find, you know, sometimes when you wash your face, you feel it's like uneven or it's mm. bumpy and sometimes it's more dry, um, whatever it is. I just find this 
evens everything out. It like pushes the product into your skin in a gentle way. You can actually toggle between the up and down modes. You can do it stronger, where it's almost like a massage,、mm -hmm. or you can do it like less, where it's just this little hum of a vibration, and it just helps to like loosen. Highly recommend that tool. Use it every day. The next product is a good old eye cream. When Beauty Within first started, we're like, do you need eye cream? No. Do we still believe you don't need eye cream? Yes. But do I need eye cream? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think especially if you have dry skin,、mm. it's where it gets driest the fastest、mm. around right here. I think like my cheeks are fine, the rest of my face is fine, but like just the, around my eyes, maybe because we're so like emotive and like expressive、yeah. that like it just like there's so much movement, whatever that like right just right here,、mm. right here, it gets so dry that at night I'm like I must use an eye cream,、mm. and in the morning I must. Use an eye cream. So the one that I like using at night is actually Bare Minerals. I think this like Phyto eye cream that we use because of Hailey Bieber's routine.、Mm -hmm. Still love that, and I like using Retinol at night. And this, the Clarins, this is their Total Eye Lift. Fine lines and wrinkles, darkness, puffiness, everything. Every eye concern that you may have, this. Is supposed to help with,、mm -hmm. and they have a really interesting ingredient in here that I'm totally gonna butcher the name. It's like Haruguma, Harugama, Harungana. It is a healing tree from Africa, from Madagascar,、mm -hmm. and it's supposed to have very similar effects as retinol, and it has、mm -hmm. this like. Really beautiful texture that yes, I am here to protect you, and then I will help you plump up the fine lines.、Mm. So a little bit of eye cream. We're at that phase、cream. now. I'm gonna mention this one. I think everyone just drop everything and go get a zit sticker because <laughs> this is the killer spot clarifying patch kit. I honestly think if you have hormonal acne, if you have breakouts, and you don't want it to rear its ugly head and become Yellow. It's still under the surface of the skin, and it hurts. This literally is a killer of dormant breakouts because I put this on as I'm feeling it, and within one to two days, it's like subsided. It's like the storm was encroaching, and then it went away. Literally, if I run out of it and I can feel it coming, but I didn't do anything, it takes. Weeks to come to the surface, right? And it's so painful. Like this is because I ran out. I couldn't even deal with it. And then it like became this huge cystic pimple next to my mouth. So each sticker has 24 of those little micro dots that dissolve into the skin within like an hour or two, and it just seeps into the areas that no product or like you know thingy can reach, and really just holds it there. And it's like. Suffocates all that nastiness, and then by the morning you peel it off, and nothing's on the patch, but it's significantly decreased. Honestly, game changer. You have to get it if you have acne. If you have acne, what else have you got? Okay,、left? next to the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen. You guys know how much I love this sunscreen. This is actually a year of very. There's a lot of very. Up there, yeah, innovative, yeah, sunscreen. So、yeah. like the Innisfree one was amazing. The Beauty of Joseon one is amazing. Wish Trend one. Yes, there's so many, but I think the one I refill on the most, maybe because James also steals all of mine, is the Supergoop Unseen Sunscreen.、Mm. And I just find that this, especially if you're gonna put on makeup, is so good under. Your makeup、mm. as like a primer. Love the texture. If there's someone in your life who hates sunscreen because they're like,、oh, it's like too thick, or like there's a white cast, or like I just don't like the feeling of it.、Mm -hmm. Period. There's something on my face. Just get them a little size of this to try, or just、yeah. like literally put it on their face for them and be like, do you like this. So it'll be like, oh yeah, like I don't、it's、really like, feel anything. Why is the sunscreen clear? Yeah. yeah. And then to kind of like add on to this. Even though this is a necessity and this is supplementary, this is Paula's Choice Hyaluronic Acid Peptide Lip Booster with squalene. It's the year of peptides for Arwina. This is the lip product that I have next to my bed. It is what I have in my makeup pouch. It is what I've reached for the most. This just does a wonderful job. It's like super thick. It's kind of like. Lip gloss, but I just think it does such a great job of really like keeping my lips moisturized.、Mm. Dry, flaky lips are suffering. Oh my god! Because、lips. it doesn't happen to me often. When I do have it, I'm like, oh my god, this is painful. You could use some right now. <gasps> it's so painful. 
10 minutes later, I'm like, I taste blood. Because <laughs> it, and you smile, you're like, ah! It's like, <laughs> what I want to really highlight is that on the channel, we're all about inner, outer beauty. Products can only take you so far as to like heal a more surface and superficial problem, right? But what if, you could treat it before it comes out, even before the zit sticker comes in and like nips it at the butt. What that comes down to is like our mood, our nutrition, what we're feeding ourselves, our lifestyle. And one thing that really like changed my year in terms of like body and skin is finding out about the Elix tinctures. So these are little bottles concocted from TCM ingredients. What Elix did is really tie in the inner and outer of finding what your body needs so that you can be free of like PMS symptoms like bloating, acne, hormonal acne, or even like sleep, all the things that come when our period comes because we are female and so we have a uterus and we have all these different types of problems, right? What was really interesting is you do this test and it asks you all these questions about your lifestyle routine. So I think that's actually the coolest thing about this test. It asks about your cycle, yeah. it asks about your flow, it asks about all of these questions that I feel like it's no like one the nitty else gritty. Asked, yeah, like it's the thing that actually matters. Yeah. What that actually reveals is so much about our skin. At the end of the day, we just want to look good, feel good, and have glowing skin, and that yeah. really does start from the inside. So after you do the test, you get like a individualized concoction. So this is mine. I want you to know that getting clear skin and like regulating your cycle doesn't have to require doing like a complete shift in your mm -hmm. life. Just put this in your tea, put this in your coffee, whatever it is, put it in your food. And like, you will see over the months that it changes it. Kid you not, my flow this time was one, on time, which is like insane. And two, it wasn't as, like the ache wasn't there. I always get aches on the first and second day that are like so intense. But this time it like changed over in just one cycle. It was weird. This is the customized one, cycle balance, but there's also ones that you can take at any given point. I really love the ginger aid because it's like, Ginger and lemon go really well in making a drink and ginger is heating, so it's good for the womb. Ginger is also great at helping with digestion, so you can have it after dinner. So I think this, which is inner beauty, paired with this, which is outer beauty, mm -hmm. collectively can do so much for your And being. honestly, if we can get the inner beauty right, I think we can rely less on the outer. Yes. I think we have a code for you guys if you are interested. It might get you 15% off. Okay. Home run. To the scalpula. Scalp. Belle and I both love Acton Acres plant-based dry shampoos. So let's talk about this one first. Yeah. I actually love everything that they have in yeah. their line. As someone who like never used dry shampoos because I just like didn't like the smell of it. I didn't like that they came out of an aerosol. I didn't like that they're just like so suffocating whenever you put it on or that they live this they leave this crust in your hair. Mm. Until I came across this one. This has 15% rice and tapio powder and 0.1% fulvic acid that's just supposed to help zhuzh up any oily scalp yeah or like oily hair that yeah. you have and what I do is you know just section it from the middle I'll spray it down in like one inch sections and I'll also kind of spray it along my hairline because I feel like this is where it gets the most oily this actually makes it look like you washed your hair no other dry shampoo I've tried does that. Most of them just like continues to weigh it down or it gets like very gritty and mm -hmm. gross. Mm -hmm. This actually makes it light and fluffy. Totally. Let me tell you, my scalp was so freaking oily for my whole life. And I've used, I think every dry shampoo out there, drugstore, high end, mid tier. It would just make me dandruff so bad. And then I smelt it. It was like the perfume mixed with our oil Scal scalp. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's like, oh gosh, this is not it guys. And then this, what they do really well is they concentrate on scalp health. So, so that fulvic acid actually helps to deliver 65 different types of minerals. So in terms of like scalp health, this is actually doing the most. We're also going to be doing a video with Helen, who is the founder of Acton Acre. So we're so excited to ask her all about like hair issues, scalp issues. And if you guys have any questions, leave them below and we'll ask it to her in the episode very soon. Yay. This is Bosha's Probiotic Exfoliating Powder for face and scalp. So this, as soon as you mix it with water, it turns into this like very beautiful, like micro gray foam mm -hmm. that I would then like work into my scalp. I'll actually do like one 
like quarter size is for like the front where it gets a lot. Another quarter size is for like the back, just mm -hmm. so I'm like, you know, covering all of the, my scalp surface areas. So I'll like section my hair in half and just kind of like put it in the back. Using this before the 107 shampoo, like my hair is just fresh. Mm. It feels so nice. Yeah. It's so fluffy. <laughs> and it's actually recommended that you shampoo twice. So yeah, because it's just been working, I never really looked into what's in it, but there's a lot of amazing ingredients in there. It also makes your shower experience very fun. Mm. Like, so that's lint. Purpose function. Just a one little makeup, all the lip, lip products. Yeah, like, sh yeah. It's a lip stain, so you just need to use it once and you're covered for the rest of the day. Not Literally. That, yeah, not that it's gonna be like shiny all yeah. the time, but when it disappears, the you color. normally have to reapply, right? But this leaves pigment on your skin, so you look ravishing throughout the day so that it comes in like so many different shades. I am not tied to any shade because I love all shades. So Roy loves the dewy, I love the velvet, and they're both like really hydrating. So you will definitely find something that works for you. That's it! That is our 2022 roundup. Hope you what guys a year! Enjoyed that. I know, what a year. It's been like a pretty consistent year, I think. Yes. And it's been a year of testing or just trying and reaching for products that we love. Thinking back about this year, there were still a lot of new products, but I think it's because there's already so much now, it's harder and harder to find something that's different, but you know, there's like innovation, so there's new things all the time, but look forward to seeing what brands do this coming year because things are always changing. I just wanna like highlight, make sure you're really taking care of yourself from the inside. You are what you eat, you know, food is thy medicine, and then like support it with your skincare. It's not the be all end all. Oh, reminder, we also have like our podcast that we've started and we're gonna in the future bring on different people to talk about this inner, outer complexity of our bodies and minds. And we took your guys' advice to take our what did you learn this week and just create a new series around our podcast with it, so. That's it, hope you guys had a great year. Resilience of the human soul. Spirit. <laughs> yes, the human spirit. So we'll see you very, very soon. If it's next year, it'll be next year. Bye-bye. Jack, don't leave. <laughs> oh my God, that wheeze. <laughs>